Hey, what's up? It's Enigma Hood, and we're live. All right, uh, just give me a second to share the stream. I'm back. Um, all right, we're gonna try beat this game. This time, we're gonna do the good side. Um, should I do good guy missions? things. And here they are. Hey, Jurtka! What's up? Like, last night, I had to rage quit. Um, we were gonna beat it last night, but, uh, well, there were, um, major problems, suffice to say. Um, I'm wondering if I should do these side missions or not. We could do them, but I don't even know if this is useful. All right, let's just let's just try to beat it. Yeah, what happened was I messed up last night. I um I tried to I used the uh the, the whatever the hell it is that artifact, and it made me evil. But I thought it was gonna give me more power. But it didn't. What the fuck? Oh, this is... We, we don't want to go this way. No, I don't think it's worth looking up. I didn't even say much. Um, I was just so pissed. Um, like, I wasn't, like, flipping out or anything like that, but I was, I was mad. I was mad because um, that final boss is just ridiculous. And, like, I didn't really say anything. I was pretty quiet because I was just fuming. And then, finally, I just kind of quit. Um, and the reason is because uh, I became evil at the end. And it wasn't worth it. Because all it did was it just gimped my powers. So, I'm not... I have to redo the second to last mission here. And hopefully this time I'll be good and then hopefully I'll I'll be powerful enough to beat the final boss because the final boss is insane actually. Like I couldn't believe how insane it was. It, it talk about a difficulty spike. Like it it seemed pretty clear to me that there was no chance of me beating that thing because I couldn't even whittle that guy's health down to half. Like, I could barely whittle it down to anything, and he was killing me so easily. I think I'm on the wrong side. So... Yeah, 
that didn't go well. It's a good thing I saved before the final boss, because if I didn't, I would be so screwed. I'm a little, an I'm not, I'm, I'm annoyed uh, that I have to, that we weren't able to beat this game last night, because um, I really did want to move on. But hopefully uh, we can beat it. Like, I don't see any reason why this shouldn't work. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very obtuse. Like, it, the difficulty spike is insane. To the point of where, like, what... And, and the other dumb thing is that at the very end of the game... You can switch from good to bad instantly. But if... Like, I don't even know what the point of that is, because... If you spent all your points and your experience on the good side, and then you go bad at the end... Well, you just wasted all of that. It's pointless. It looks like Kessler's keeping the ray sphere in the old examiner building. Gonna be a bitch getting to it, though. 78 seconds. So what's the plan? I've got a canister of fentanyl rigged to the bottom of the chopper. Should incapacitate everyone inside. Unfortunately, Kessler's got anti-air guns on the surrounding buildings, and they'll tear me apart long before I get into position. 57 seconds. So I take out the guns, you gas those bastards, and we go in and get the sphere? Exactly. <sighs> now we only get one shot at this. So get over there and destroy those guns. All right. Unfortunately, we have to redo this mission. I beat this mission last night. See those jets, Cole? They're hitting targets all across the city, preparing the way for a ground invasion. I oh, warned wow. you that if I lost control, they'd escalate things. You shouldn't have reneged on our deal. You're not pinning this on me, Moya. I already have. I can do this quickly. There's three anti-aircraft guns. It's kind of annoying to destroy them. Not kind of, it is annoying to destroy them. Stupid thing. Okay, good. I don't have enough fentanyl to make another bomb, so this is our only chance. Take out those guns before they blow me out of the sky. Perhaps it's power boost to a bad character. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the reason why I got it, actually, because I thought it was going to be a power boost. Um. Like, he said, oh, if I get this, I'm gonna be unstoppable. So that's why I got it. I don't give a shit about being evil, I just want to become more powerful. But they fucked me. Um... Anyway. Take a fire, Cole. Destroy those guns. Okay, got one. Unfortunately, the sniper doesn't do that much damage. You have to hit him twice in the head, which kind of negates the whole purpose of having a sniper. You want to get him in one shot. But yeah, actually, you know, we can get a power boost, believe it or not, um, 
for the good side. Um, like, it won't give us a power boost by itself, but it'll give us... It'll give us the 100%. And then that'll allow us to do something else that's pretty useful. I'm gonna go to those two. Yeah, when you're 100% uh, good or bad, then you can get... Um, You don't have to, like, eat it, like, three times over and over again. I read it. Just because I don't acknowledge it doesn't mean I didn't read it. Gas bombs the place. Alright, this time we're gonna be a good guy, right? Damn it. We weren't fast enough. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Race near onto a truck. Now I'm gonna keep him in my sights. You follow as quickly as you can. Created a lot of cliches, a lot of parodies, which got annoying. after Matrix 2 and 3. Which is too bad because if you see the Animatrix, Animatrix is great and there's some stories there, namely the second renaissance, that they should flesh out into a full movie. There's, there's a lot of potential there and it would be really good. I love the Matrix, but Matrix 2 and 3 were garbage. They've got a boat inbound. Probably trying to take advantage of the fact that water will kill you. I've got fuel leaking all over the place, so you've got to catch up to us or we're going to lose the sphere again. Okay, this, this shouldn't be too bad. It can be a little hard. Alright, I died already. After this will be the final boss, so hopefully we can get through this. <coughs> Damn, gas grenades. George Lucas directed the the three old Star Wars movies. <coughs> Damn gas grenades. Hey Owly! <laughs> hey. How are you doing? This thing's running on vapor, so I gotta um, put it down. Get your ass down there. We're gonna be yeah, I told everyone we're gonna be streaming uh Golden Sun next. Do you still have, like, a headache from your, uh... 
from uh, your hangover. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do uh, Golden Sun next. Looking forward to it. We were supposed to do it tonight, but I couldn't. I couldn't beat this game last night. Yeah, George Lucas was the film director. In fact, Indiana Jones is also that wasn't directed by that guy. Indiana Jones was directed by Steven Spielberg. You know, I had that thing in my hands once. Kessler asked me to hold it while he adjusted some cables during a test. Feel it pulsing, like something was inside it trying to get out. And yes, I want to die. Oh. And everyone wants. So you said you had some vodka and some shots. See, temperature. like you gotta drink the good stuff. Like some, there's some alcohols that won't give me a hangover. Uh -huh. Lives is that and they don't give me a headache either. It, it all has to do with the chemistry of the alcohol. The okay, no problem. We'll stream something else tomorrow. If I use it again, it could make me twice as strong. And then we'll do uh, Golden no Sun the day after tomorrow. Then. Me. All right, we're gonna have to destroy this. Yeah, we'll just um, we'll stream Golden Sun whenever you can make it to the stream. through my head. I think of Amy. Seek. Had some and vodka. I with everything I've got. Yeah, vodka. Vodka's kind of cheap shit, in my opinion. Cracks open, creating a vortex of energy. John's pulled in, and it tears him apart. And I run. Matrix became too emotional and cheesy. Matrix too. Nothing went according to plan. Like, like I don't know. Like it was just boring. You know, like. And I, I didn't. They, they messed up the romance between Neo and Trinity. Like Trinity was so sexy in the first movie. And I liked that whole thing, but then, like, in 2 and 3, somehow, like, I don't know, she just... It didn't work. <laughs> I'm disappointed, Cole. The Ray Sphere didn't was work the anymore. catalyst of your powers, and it could have strengthened you even more, but you rejected it. I, for one, wouldn't have done the same thing. Yeah, well, I'm not like you. It took me a while, but I it's like the Hobbit want to be more than the Lord of the Rings me, and failed miserably. I want oh, did it? I never saw The Hobbit. I didn't even like the Lord of the Rings no movies, really. Again. Like, the first one was okay, the second and third ones were just terrible. <laughs> they were really boring to me. me Alright, okay, we're gonna save now. This is a good time to save. We'll save right here. The um, like they they were all kind of boring to me, but at least the first one, like the first one, kind of grew on me. Okay, here's what happened. I saw all three movies in the theaters, and I didn't like any of them in the theaters. Um, but later on, I saw the f the first one over and over again. Um, to the point where I, I began to like it. The second and third ones, I I figured that I just they deserve to be rewatched. So I rewatched both of them, and I also watched the the uh, extended versions. And on rewatching them, I understood the story. Um, I finally understood the story. Uh, the problem before was uh, I didn't really get what what the hell was going on in any of those things. But uh, okay, so I I rewatched them, and I finally understood it. And I don't know. They they just were still boring. <laughs> um, at least to me. Um, one of the things that was weird. I, I I can criticize one thing that I remember. It was so weird how. What's that fat guy's name? It's like he was in love with Frodo. Sam. That's his name. Sam. Like you gotta admit that was kind of weird. Like how he was like all heartbroken when Frodo told him to go home. He was like. Hey. The love of my life is telling me to go home where like what the hell is up with that? Like I don't mind homosexual relationships. That's fine. But then they completely contradict that with him like marrying a woman at the end and like it's like, huh? 
Like, if you're gay for him, that's fine, but, like, actually be gay for him. Don't, like, do this weird, way way poor, poor me, I gotta go home now. That's just weird. Alright, let's do polarity wall, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they were best. <laughs> but, to the point of where, like, he, he was so heartbroken. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe we can do this. Let's Let's try this, I'll just get it. <laughs> the power of friendship. Yeah, that was that was pretty pretty odd. The battles were cool, I guess. I know, I know a lot of people love them. The first one I I will at least say is is pretty pretty good. That one grew on me, but the other two and here we are. Uh, boy. All right, final boss. So you know what I liked more at, live at the, the time blast. when the first but you were fine. Uh, Lord of the Rings movie more came out? Fine, I liked I liked Harry I Potter more. Now. Like rem the first one, the you chamber. No, um, the bomb went off. I've the was it Philosopher's Stone? The Sorcerer's Every Stone? Step of your life. That one I liked. <laughs> I liked that, but but Harry Potter became garbage. Uh, with the Deathly Hollows, like all the other movies, they were they were pretty good. I liked them. <laughs> you don't like Harry Potter? Like I I liked I like Harry Potter, but like friggin' Deathly Hollows is garbage. Okay, let's see if we can beat this guy now. Basically, the idea is you have to kind of pummel him with lightning bolts. Yeah, like Deathly Hollows. What? What were they thinking with that? Said something of Lord Gatelord. Never got into Harry Potter. I like the movies. Like I never read the books. You know, actually, you know, Owly, like, um, as a kindergarten teacher. You would be pleased to know at least like the the first couple of Harry Potter books at least are very s reminiscent of like the Roald Dahl novels. You know, the guy who did uh, Charlie and the Chocolate You're Factory. Not going anywhere. Your mother is ashamed of you. At least the the first couple of ones. You're a teacher. No one respects a bike messenger. Uh, the other ones are uh, well, the Deathly Hollow. Ones. I can't speak about the book anyway. But I guess, like, in some ways, like, it became a little bit too, uh... Yeah. You know, when something becomes a little bit too mainstream, it kind of loses its classic feel for, like, um... For, like, a children's novel. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, let's be honest, is a timeless classic. That's always going to be read in kindergarten classes and stuff. And Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory will always be the better version. Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka <laughs> is sacrilege, let's be honest. Okay, I am doing more damage this time at least, finally. But I'm still dying a lot. You know what's also pretty good, the uh, Roll Doll novel? Um Matilda was You're good. Not going anywhere. That whole movie made me uncomfortable, yeah. It like it, it ironically enough, it is actually closer to the novel. But like it just fails. Um, actually, you know, Nostalgia Critic, he did a good comparison of the two. I'll, I'll, s I'll show you that video later, Auli. It's a really good comparison, and he made a lot of excellent points and reasons why uh, the original is better. Um, because one of the reasons is that Charlie, in the, in the Johnny Depp version, is too perfect. He doesn't have imperfections like in the first version. Oh, you did see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Charlie, he, he's like, he's always good little two-shoes, but in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, he can be a little greedy, he can be a little selfish, you know? He's thinking about himself, too, and he, he has flaws. He, 
When you have perfect characters, they're boring. But he's still lovable. We still love Charlie from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Guy doesn't need to be perfect in order for, for the audience to love him. In fact, I think the audience would love him even more if he wasn't perfect, because we're not perfect. We relate more to f flawed characters, because we're flawed. He was saying how the movie focused on Willy Wonka and when it was supposed to be Charlie's story. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of ironic, because Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was more about Charlie, while Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was more about Willy Wonka. Um, and what's his name again? The guy who played uh, Willy Wonka in, in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Jeez. Ryder or something? No, something... I forgot his name, but he was... Gene Wilder. He was perfect. And when you saw him for the first time, like when he's like... kind of staggering to get to the entrance like it's such an epic moment like that feeling when you see that he's kind of decrepit and then like he, he does a tumble and it's like nope gotcha <laughs> that's one of my favorite parts in that movie and the songs now I'm not a huge fan of musicals but like that that movie has some of the best songs in, in, in any musical. Oh shit. They're just too timeless. So all the shitty songs that they had in, in the new one, that's not, there's no chance they could ever be as good. He's taking more damage, at least. I don't know if I can actually beat him. I can just keep on doing this. I think this might be the best option. Oh, for fuck's sake. An atmosphere processor? I don't even know what an atmosphere processor is. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Terraforming? Uh, no. We're not capable of that. If, if we were capable of that, we could reverse the effects of global warming. Not yet, anyway possible for fuck's sake I don't stand a chance against this guy even after you think maybe I should try the karmic overload let's see oh, okay I know what this does this makes my energy invincible oh in, um, unlimited Air conditioning system is an atmospheric processor. Yeah, yeah, it conditions the environment in your room. That's why they call it air conditioning as opposed to just air cooling. As for terraforming an entire planet, like I said, if we could do that, we could reverse global warming. We're not there yet. For fuck's sake. Like, I can't even... I can't even get him down to half. Oh, you you played this game before, Ali. Played Infamous? Yeah, this is a PlayStation 3 exclusive. The difficulty spike for this boss is insane. This is the last boss. I think maybe if I kind of hang out here... Like, I can kind of take cover here. No! 
I almost got him down to half. Oh no. What? 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 What the fuck was that? That was weird. Did I just die in the, in the game? <laughs> Not going anywhere. And see that that's also annoying. Oh jeez, like how I don't even stand a chance. Yeah, he's too OP. Maybe if I can take cover here. I got all the upgrades I can get here. He seems to stagger, he loses energy at a certain point, but. And then you have to jump over this thing, which is hard to, hard to time. And, and if you get too close, you're screwed. Oh, jeez. Like, you can regenerate your health. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, you gotta get to electrical output. And then, hold on. Nah, no, I, I already got the best electric drain shit. I already got this stuff, yeah. Yeah, this game's okay, but like this final boss can go fuck itself. How long have I been streaming this one? Maybe, was it like six or seven parts? This actually might have been part eight. I can't remember. It's a pretty long game, actually. Like, a little bit too long. Because, um, this game kind of overstayed its welcome near the end. I think it is a little bit too long. It's a good game. But it does get a bit repetitive. You're See, like, worming your way out this the, time, Kessler. What the fuck? I've never seen You're this before. Weak. A failure. All of this has been for nothing. Did I fuck up? I think I fucked up. Get your hands off of him! Go! Make a run for it! I'll take care of this gas bag! This doesn't concern you, fat man. I never got this far before. Okay. Wait a minute, so if I die again, we'll restart at this part, please? Or do I have to start all over again? Yeah, I think it's like eight. I was stringing this for, I think, maybe eight, ga eight, eight days. Oh, fuck. I jumped. It's hard to see. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. See? I hit a checkpoint. That's good. Now, now he's a little less impossible. Like, can you imagine if I had to do this all in one go? Yeah, this is this is. This is nothing. I think grenades are my best best shot here. Hold on, let me, let me try to get to one. The problem is that he's just too weak. Thanks for the tip, check. <laughs> no, I never... I don't remember taking any breaks. The way this happened was like, I was streaming a Jet Set Radio at first. But that game made me want to throw up. Yeah, he has 40 different moves. All I can do is shoot lightning. And honestly, like, you would think melee would be good against him too, right? Nah, it, melee's totally useless. I was trying to jump. I was trying to jump. Melee won't do anything. Oh, I gotta think of a strategy. See, like, how, how am I supposed to dodge that? Okay, jump over this. Pummel him now. That's the only time when he's even kind of vulnerable. 
No, it's not. Like, there's all kinds of rocks and shit in the way when I'm trying to strafe them. Okay, I gotta try dodge that, right? Let's try dodge it. But that, how do you, how do you dodge that? See, watch if I try to melee him. See, he just instantly teleports. Okay, that. That. And then he'll he'll do that randomly. And then hits me with that when I have no no time to recover. And then I have I've no time to gain any more electricity because he, he, he just teleports everywhere. Like I could have done without the teleporting. Like isn't he OP, OP enough? Okay, we gotta jump over this thing. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get him down to half health. I think if we get him down to half, then we get another cutscene. When he gets that close, like, how do you dodge that? That's cheap because there's no way to, I, I, that, there's no time to dodge that. And then it, that's hard to determine how, how to jump. There's a bunch of these assholes you can't melee. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's like something you see in your nightmares. I'm sorry, you're suffering with this thing. What was the what was the deal with that face, though? <laughs> it's like ugly fucking face. By the way, um, Ali, what happened at the... Oh, I think I almost had it. I almost had it. So what happened at the haunted house? Kind of, uh, speaking of scary shit. <laughs> what happened at the, the haunted house that you went to yesterday? They didn't touch you, did they? I went to a haunted house before and they touched the fuck out of you. It was scary. So what what uh, what happened exactly? It was just kind of like a creepy house. So you were there with uh, two guys and like three girls. Aren't allowed to touch. I was the biggest target of the group. <laughs> Why did they target you? Oh, they targeted you because you were like the, the cute girl. You're like the cute girl from the movies. So, jeez, that face again. Ah. Oh. Fuck's sake. Oh, we got jump. Man. Kept trying to curl in the bar <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, were you drunk before or after going in the haunted house? He, he can't... He can't come right up to me and do the shockwave. That's cheap. Oh, you were drunk before going in there. Okay. I thought being drunk, you know, being drunk makes you more brave, though. You get like more courage. Oh, fuck. You have to turn off your TV to dodge his face. There's no time to heal either. Of 
clown house, haunted house, haunted trail. Oh, that's a lot. So you got the clown house. Were there were they like scary clowns or just like happy clowns? Like the clowns from it? Oh, you got me in a corner. You got me in a corner. Like, where the fuck do I go? Yeah, this terrain is garbage. Like, literally, it is garbage, but it's, it's a garbage playing field because there's too much shit in the way. I had to wear these 3D glasses so everything looked distorted and even worse. Oh, really? Yeah. So they had some 3D, 3D effects going on, huh? Oh. No, no. So how did they achieve the 3D effect? They had like uh, TV screens or something? Or did they try to use like some hologram shit or something? <laughs> Picked it on you? Oh, nay. And they pow. Poor Owly. Yeah, you were texting me a little bit. It was kind of funny. You're not going oh, fuck For fuck's sake. No more upgrades I can get. I think lightning bolts is that's the only thing I can really use. You're not going anywhere. I'm dead. <laughs> Scary people tried kept trying to trap me in the corner and talk to me. <laughs> Wait a minute, so the, the people who, who were trying to scare everyone, they were like trying to talk to you? What were they trying to what were they saying? How do I use my can I use my karmic over overload? O overload? Overlord. Karmic overlord. My batteries. Dodge it. Dodge it. Hit him, hit him in the head. Come on. Don't come close. Jump over it, please. Okay. Yeah, see that that that's cheap as fuck. When he charges you and then throws that shit at you, okay, he's gonna do it again, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna do it again. I knew it. So I gotta be prepared for that. I gotta dodge before he even does it. Like now, but I don't know. I, I dodged that. And I'm gonna what? Just kill me? I don't give a shit. Scary stuff they were saying. They're gonna cut my pretty little face off in a chainsaw. <laughs> we gotta cut your pretty little face off in a chainsaw. <laughs> That's mean though. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what did they look like? Like what what were they dressed as?
cutting someone's face off with a chainsaw is a little inefficient, isn't it? <laughs> oh shit, I, I should have known that I, I should have dodged there. Oh, monsters? Dark and drunk and afraid. Were they like... Because like when I went to a haunted house... Ah, oh, I knew they was going to do that. When I went to the haunted house in Niagara Falls, they were like dressed in like some kind of animal outfit. Like hairy animal outfit or something like that. Like an ape suit or a wolfman suit. I think it was a wolfman suit. Dodges as soon as I throw those grenades. You're not going anywhere. That's the cheapest attack of them all because he can do that anytime he wants. You had fun? I'm glad you had fun. Sorry you have a hangover, but glad you had fun. Whoa! I hit. I jumped on top of the shockwave. Okay, he's gonna do that. Ah! Oh, I knew he was gonna do it, but I didn't get it. Am I even doing any damage to him? It seems like I'm not doing anything. Okay, dodge. For fuck's sake. Jump scares are cheap. You're not so, going the best way to do a jump scare in, in, in film have a close-up of the person, have it dark. By doing a close-up, you're simultaneously getting a good look of the person's reaction while simultaneously inhibiting the, uh, the viewer's spatial awareness around the, the character. Jump scare happens right after. Oldest trick in the book. Jump it. Oh, no. Why can't I ever get that? Right, we need to try and get this. Okay. Okay now, finally. Sort of. He's down. He's 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 over half dead. Fuck me. Where are you? Where do you? Okay, we got we got the cutscene. Yeah, this this is really troll, but we got the cutscene, so we're okay now. So he's almost dead. The man carried a picture of Trish in his wallet, telling people she was the daughter he never had. Did you know that? He couldn't wait for you to marry her. Strong grenades. You son of a bitch. Oh. No. It's okay, we should be alright. Oh man, teleporting fuck. He's gonna do his little Yeah, I got I got you that time, fuck. Oh, grenades. Don't you hate when he grenades the fuck out of ya? It's pretty weak. Like, those things are throwing the grenades. Shit. I don't wanna die here. Do this. It's hard to kill the fucking drones. Oh, they, they have cloaking devices too. I think I got. 
no. It's like I'm, I'm dodging into grenades too. Okay. Ah, oh, I knew he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna do that. Oh no! Oh no! No! Okay. We're not that far behind. He makes those fucking drones. We have to take out the drones first. Toss up those grenades. Jump scares are boring. It's pretty cliche. I mean, once you once you know how to identify them and wh when they're gonna come and film. They're pretty predictable. Ah, uh, no. We got the drones. I knew he was gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Maybe harder. At least this one has uh, um, checkpoints, though. Like, if this didn't have checkpoints, this would be impossible. So, thank goodness for that. Oh, I knew he could do that. Oh, I jumped into it. Oh. If, you, if you're turning... If you're about to die like that, you can absorb electricity and heal yourself. Dodge it. Um, but you're vulnerable when you do it. The, the shitty thing about this is that you can only use pretty much my one attack, my lightning. I mean, I have other attacks, but I can't use them. They're useless against this guy. Okay, let's try... We can try my other one. Let's see if it's any good. Yeah, it's not that good. Grenades. They're pretty much your best bet. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Everything about this oh everything about this is just dumb, I agree. <laughs> this game, like it overstayed its welcome and this final boss can go fuck itself. Up the ass. I hate this final boss. Almost dead, is <sighs> Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. See, like, how am I supposed to jump over the shockwave if they throw a grenade at me that explodes my ass? I always see it at the wrong second. <sighs> like, you have, like, maybe a millisecond to react to that. You have more powerful attacks, but they are only good against slow-moving targets, and this guy teleports, so... Most of the weapons I have are no good. Who thought this would be fun? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, th th that's the problem with this game. There's a lot of uh, difficulty spikes. So, huh? I jumped over the shockwave. Okay, no problem, Alan. 
I didn't eat anything all day. <laughs> His ugly face again. I was hoping to kind of beat this soon. We are close, but yeah, still not quite there. Give me the damn juice! I jumped over it, man! How can anyone see that? He was so close to dying, too. Oh! That got a lot of help out of him. The grenades, they do good damage. You need to hit them, hit them with the grenades. What? Teleporting fuck. I got him. I got him, didn't I? Isn't he dead? I got him! He's dead. He's electrocuted. Alright. Game over. I looked down at Kessler. Thank you, Church. Victory. Whisper, Trish, I love you. Please forgive me. Then he was on me, fingers digging into my face. As Kessler's secrets played out in my head, I finally began to understand. I saw his nemesis, a beast intent on extinguishing all life. In those early days, Kessler could have used his powers to stop it, but instead he fled with his family leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late. Too late to fight. Too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power. He went on a one-way trip back in time, attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the Ray Sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine, finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day. When he married Trish, with Zeke as his best man. <laughs> what the fuck? My brain lurched, unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person that he'd come back in time to mold me into the savior he failed to be, going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. Now, 
Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions. All for the common good. And then Kessler fell back, dead. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself, my future self, and turn away. The rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler. But when the time comes, I will be ready. That's it. So I'll just do like a little review. It won't be very long. Um, I like this game. It's a good game. Um, I don't think it's fantastic, and compared, there are there are better open world games out there. I think most people understand that this game is one of those games that was good for its time, but it didn't age quite so gracefully. But it's it's still good. Um, I like uh, I like its take on on the open world. Um, you know, the gameplay is fun. It's fun uh, doing side quests and gaining more experience so that you can unlock new abilities. The only thing is that uh, I think the balance of experience that you get for doing side quests is imbalanced. Sometimes you'll spend a lot of time doing a hard side quest and you don't get a lot of experience for it. You'll get like the same exact experience for doing like a, a short side quest as you do a really hard and long side quest. So that, there's balancing issues there. Um, the other thing is it has a karmic system, which is cool, and I really like that. I love it when games have karmic systems. The only problem with, is that, and I guess this is a problem with all karmic systems, is that once you choose a side, you're pretty much stuck with it. Um, you can't be you, really. You have to choose either good or bad and then just go in that direction in order to get all the powers. I mean, yeah, it wants to reward your, your karmic alignment with powers, but if you end up being you, you're going to end up just being in the middle, and that's not what you want. You need to be in one direction or the other. So you end up making decisions that may not align with your, uh, your ki karmic alignment but you have to do it for the sake of the gameplay, for the sake of advancing your character and gaining more powers. Um, the the missions themselves are pretty pretty creative. I mean, some of them are more creative than others. Some of the side missions do get repetitive. That's that is an issue. Um, but it wasn't so bad as it was in like Watch Dogs because you don't know what mission you're gonna get before you get into it. And that has like a psychological advantage, you know, so it kind of keeps things fresh and new, um, even if you did the mission already. Um, and I like how there's good and evil mission, side missions so that you can get more powers in those alignments. Um, the game is a little bit too long, though. Uh, I think that they could have cut down on the game by at least five hours or so. Like, what they could have done to make up for it is they could have had more side missions that were more varied, and if you chose, you could do those side missions. Um, but, you know, it wouldn't have been required, because near the end especially, like, I felt like the game was overstaying its welcome. Um, there are some difficulty spikes, but for the most part, they aren't too bad. That final boss was annoying, and it is weird how you can go instantly evil or instantly good right at the end, because that just screws you, honestly, because you spent all your time building up the other alignment, and if you go in the opposite direction, there's no advantage, so I didn't think that was necessary, um, because there's no benefit to it, what's the point? Um, 
the enemy design is kind of weird. Some of them look kind of okay. I this would be the end. Um, but once uh, Kessler and the race oh sphere were gone, my life would go back to There's normal. There's more story interrupting my now review. Now I understand that this is my life. That there's no going back. That the we'll, gift we'll take of a, these powers a short be break. Until hey, the Tatsu. Day I die. The people around here, they love me. Thank you, Tatsu. How long will that last? What's going to happen the first time they expect me to be there for them and I'm not? I don't even know who to trust. Moya is still running around, planning God knows what. This is like the epilogue. I don't know what to think. I've never been more alone. Okay, that's kind of cool. It tells you a little... Gives you a little epilogue based upon your karmic decisions, I guess. Um, oh, and you can keep on playing. That's interesting. Oh, that's cool. And you can get more powers for the opposite. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, what was I saying? I was talking about the enemy design. The enemy design is kind of bad. Um, some of the enemies just look like they're wearing garbage bags over their bodies. So They look kind of generic, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I also like how, as the as you do more side quests, you can take over territory and enemies stop respawning there. That that is a little. It can be a little annoying, constantly being shot at. Like I'm I'm being shot at right now. Um, but you know that that just kind of incentivizes you to play more side quests. So I don't really mind it too much, even though it can be annoying. Um, graphics wise, it's okay. Um, like at the time, it's an older game. So I can give it a pass on the graphics. I mean, obviously, they don't really hold up that well by today's standards, but they're all right, and it's an open-world game, so... Um, I will say that the character and his powers are really cliché. Because, like, it just reminds me too much of Electro, or the Shocker from Spider-Man. Um, this game, this whole game kind of reminds me a little bit of Spider-Man. It has, like, a Spider-Man vibe, and... This guy that you play as, what's his name, Cole? He's so generic looking and boring. And honestly, that's the reason why I put off playing this game for the longest time. Because of how generic and kind of dull looking the character is and how the world looks. Yeah, it just doesn't really, like, pique my interest, you know? Like, okay, he has electric powers, that's cool. But, like, electric powers is so overdone. Um, but they managed to pull it off, though. I, I will give them that. They, they did manage to pull it off so that it is fun. And unlocking new powers is a lot of fun. And upgrading them, that's always very satisfying. So, yeah, it's a good game, but there are better open world games out there. I don't think this is really a timeless game. It's just a game that's kind of interesting. You'll play it once, but... I don't really expect to play this ever again. Um, I mean, there is a sequel. There's actually two sequels to this game. And I'm not really all that enthralled with playing them immediately. I mean, I will get around to them one of these days, but I don't even have the third one. And I'm not really all that excited to get it, if I'm completely honest. It's just a good game. Good, but not fantastic. So I hope that makes sense. And that's it. That's, uh, that's infamous. You've done the world proud. Will there be a sequel to this? Yeah, there were two sequels. Um, there was, uh, Infamous 2, and then there was Infamous Second Son, which was on the PS4. Um. Well, I'll play the sequel one day, but not anytime soon. Um... Perhaps the bad side is weaker, so the boost at the end is necessary to be able to win the boss fight. Yeah. Well, what ends up happening is, like, you'll get, uh... If you turn bad, then, um... All your... And you, you were doing good the whole time. All your upgrades are on the good side, so you don't... You don't receive them. Which is kind of annoying. Like, that's one of the things that they could have improved. They could have made it so that all your powers are active, no matter which side you're on. As long, the only thing that should matter is that they've been unlocked. 
Hey, X Infected, you got you came right after I beat the game. I redid the review. So that's it for tonight. Um, we will be playing Golden Sun next. Uh, we won't be doing it tomorrow though, because uh, um, tomorrow Owlie's gonna be out, and Owlie's the one who uh, requested the game. So we'll we'll wait for her. Uh, so we'll be doing it day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I will just kind of pick a short game that we can play. And... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just play, like, some... some game. So, uh... Let me save, first of all. No, no song request. I'll send you the game on Steam now then? Oh! What, what game is that? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking maybe... Yeah, we'll stream some short game tomorrow. I don't know what it'll be yet, but... Um... Yeah, I'll find something, something I can beat in a day. So that's it for tonight. Oh, Dread Out. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Tatsu. Oh, hey, Ali. I just, I beat the, I beat the final boss. <laughs> um. I guess we could play another game. Do you guys want to see something else? Like something short? Play something on the PlayStation 3, I guess. Here are my games. You guys can take a look and tell me what looks interesting. This is R Type Dimensions. Uh, R Type Dimensions, like a shum up. Skull Girls, that's a fighting game. This is a demo. Runner 2 is like a infinite runner. It's kind of cool. I like that. Killzone's a sh uh, sh first person shooter. This is a fighting game. Revenge of Shinobi. Retro City Rampage. That's like a GTA clone, except in 2D. It's really cool. Knights is really awesome. That's like a, a Sega Saturn game. Jet Set Radio is a piece of shit. Catherine, we already played. Fighting game. Sonic 4 Episode 2. That's a platforming game. House of the Dead 4. That's like a rail shooter. Journey, where you already played. Resident Evil Code Veronica X. That's not a short game, but that's a... It's okay. Oh, you're gonna go out? Okay, no problem, Chertka. Have a good night. Thank you so much for, for streaming with us. Shank 2 is kind of like a hack and slash game. X-Men is kind of cool. This is an arcade game. Castlevania Harmony of Despair. That's like a multiplayer Castlevania game. Trine 2 is a puzzle platformer. Sonic CD, we already played. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is a beat em up. Fighting game. This is like a platforming game. Fighting. This is a shum up. Braid is a puzzle platformer. Oh, you want to do Sonic? Alright, let's do. Which Sonic? You want to do Sonic 4 Episode 2? Or Sonic CD? I haven't streamed Sonic 4 Episode 2 yet. Sonic 4 Episode 2 is okay. Um... I also have Episode 1, but I already streamed that. Uh... Here's Episode 1. Episode 4? Sonic shooting game. Some shooting game. There, There's a lot of explodable items in FPS games. Sonic 4 Episode 2 is better than Episode 1. Um, <laughs> Beyond Cut and Evil HD. <laughs>
Yeah, you know, I actually, I would have liked that game more if I played the HD version. I, I, I know I would have liked it more. And I do recommend anyone who... I recommend other people try it, you know. Maybe you would like it. There's a multiplayer for this game. How the f Wait. How do you start a new game? This is so stupid. You can't even start a new game in this game. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You can only restart an old game. That's dumb. How lame. Alright, whatever. So... Um, basically, like episode one, they rehashed all of the the levels so that they are reworked versions of um, older Sonic levels. And this level specifically is kind of like Aquatic Ruin Zone from Sonic 2. But it also reminds me a little bit of Kingdom Valley from uh, Sonic 06, believe it or not. Uh, control in this game is so much better than it was in uh, Sonic Episode 1. And this time you have Tails, so you can actually do two-player in this game, but it's a little janky. It's a little weird because, I mean, you're moving so fast. So it's kind of hard for the second player to keep up with you. There's a jump that you can make there. I always miss it. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, you also have your little buddy powers here, which is kind of cool. And then you can also do this weird, like, tumbling thing, where you go really fast. Ah, oh, see? I'm, I always miss that jump. And I'm stuck going underwater. The music's been improved. Um, the music in, in the first game was kind of shit. Uh, they made it a little bit better here, but it's still not ideal. But it's alright. Um, and they do, you can play as Tails if you want. Tails is kind of easy. If you want to challenge, you play as Sonic. Now, actually, the one thing about this game that I really do like is the level design. Um, and they improved the graphics, too. Like, you remember the graphics from the first game? It was pretty basic, but they added a lot more to this. One of the things I don't like, though, um, you don't really notice it too much here, because I'm running the game in standard definition, but if you play the game in, in high definition, there's Jaggies up the ass. Um, apparently, this game can't run in... Uh, 1080p for whatever reason. I don't know. They just never programmed the game to run in 1080p, so it's like stuck forever in 720p. You like the game, Alley? Yeah, I like it. A lot of people bash the fuck out of this game. It's been kind of cool to bash this game along with um, Episode 1 after Sonic Mania came out. And, like, Sonic Mania is an amazing game. It really is. But that doesn't mean that this game was shit. It wasn't shit, it was good. Um, and in fact, uh, Sonic 06. Yeah, Sonic 06 was a pretty terrible game. I never played it personally, but uh, yeah, it looks like garbage. Um, and actually, that, that game is part of the reason why Sonic 4 was actually considered good at the time, and why people lauded it. Because at the time, Sonic games were garbage. 
Like, they were all garbage. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, Tails, you little bitch. He took my bubble. Okay, good. Um, right at the end. They always do that. Uh. Yeah, at the time, there were so many bad Sonic games. Namely, like, all the 3D Sonic games. So... Sonic 4 was a return to the classic 2D Sonic gameplay, which is what a lot of people wanted anyway. Um, so compared to those games, it was great. And guess what? It's great even on its own merits, because what really makes a great 2D platformer is the level design, right? I played um, fan games. You want to play Sonic 06 to see how bad it is? You know, you can get that for the Xbox 360, um, but actually there's a better version now. Um, what the fans did is they took Sonic uh, Generations on the PC and they modded it. And they added, they literally added all the best parts of Sonic 06 and they left out all the garbage and they fixed all the crap. So, um, the, the problems with Sonic 06 were that um, it was plagued with bugs and it had really long load times, right? So they fixed all that. Uh, and they also got rid of all the garbage. Um, the garbage are the, the other characters. You had to play as Silver and you had to play as Shadow. And then there were a bunch of Amigo characters which was the dumbest idea in the world. I, I, I suspect the reason why Sega kept on doing that is because there were a dumb, bunch of dumb kids who kept clamoring for the other characters to be playable characters in the Sonic game. Uh, yeah, the love story. That's the other weird thing um, that didn't sit well with a lot of people, that Sonic and Princess Elise have this romantic relationship. The problem is, Princess Elise is a human being, and, like, <laughs> like bestiality kind of doesn't sit well with people, because how can they, you know, fall in love, you know, how are they going to have sex when Sonic's head is, like, his, no, his nose is twice the size of Elise, Princess Elise's head. Just his nose alone. Like, if you compare the two of them, anatomically speaking, there's no way they can ever have sex, even if they wanted to. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, you know, and that's putting aside the whole nastiness of it all. So a lot of people didn't like that story. It was weird. It was like weird fan fiction. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to have sex when Sonic obviously doesn't have a penis either. And again, that, that's completely ignoring the fact that it's, you know, disgusting. So, yeah, suffice to say... But, I mean, like, if you think about it, though, like, in, like, the... In, like, the comics and shit, they'll, like, have hybrids between, like, Oh, I'm half squirrel, half fox. I think Princess Sally was like that, or whatever. That also doesn't make sense, but at least they're, you know, they're not human, you know, so... Can you imagine, like, a half-human, half-hedgehog, like, hybrid character? It's like, this is the result of Princess Elise and Sonic the Hedgehog having sex. That would... that would not sit well with a lot of people. It would raise a lot of questionable things. Um... But yeah, in Sonic 06, they had Amigo characters, and like I said, they they added all that garbage, because stupid kids, they kept clamoring for all that stupid shit. And the people who work at Sonic Team, they're morons, and they think, oh, hey, you know, the fans want it, so we gotta put it in game. No, you fucking retards. And that's the other thing. The people who work at Sonic Team, they're not fans of Sonic. They're just... They, they're fresh out of college. They work for cheap, they don't understand the source material, and that is the reason Sonic games have been shitty. You have people working at Sonic Team that
that aren't fans that don't understand the source material or what made Sonic so great in the first place. And it, it makes me angry. And that's the reason why Sonic Mania was a success. Because Sonic Mania was made by fans. It was made by people who love Sonic the Hedgehog. And then you get garbage like Sonic 06. Because it was made by morons who aren't fans of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yuji Naka, he's not involved in Sonic the Hedgehog anymore. However, he was, believe it or not, involved in Sonic 06 initially. But he left in the middle of development. And look, I know some people are going to disagree with me on this, but Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 is garbage. Uh, I know some people like them. And he was involved in those games, too. So even Yuji Naka couldn't fix Sonic. So. Like, I don't really blame the failure of 3D Sonic on the abandonment of Yuji Naka, necessarily. But certainly it didn't help. Same reason why anime or video game movies suck? Yeah. It's because, um... They're made by people who don't understand the source material. So, it's inevitably going to be a cheaper product. You love Sonic Adventure? I had a feeling that you did. That's why I had to add that qualifier that I know that some people like Sonic Adventure. Um, yeah, I, I have friends that like it. I don't know. Like Some people like it. I'll tell you what I don't like about it. It's the same problem that Sonic 06 had. Um, like the treasure hunting and shooter stages in Sonic Adventure 2, uh, they were they were so bad. Um, <laughs> where's my soul? <laughs> Let me ask you this though, Ali. Oh, like, did you like the treasure hunting and shooter stages of Sonic Adventure 2? Like, with I like the, the Sonic stages. I like those a lot. And if they made the whole game like that, it would have been fantastic. But those treasure hunting stages especially, they made me want to throw up. It was so confusing. You had to search forever. Yeah, yeah, the running stages. Yeah, those are great. But, like, the, the treasure hunting, looking for the emerald shards... Speaking of bad, by the way, this boss is garbage. I hate this. Um, anyway, I digress. Uh, the treasure hunting stages, they were apparently in Sonic Adventure 1, but you didn't have to do them. But from what I hear, they, uh, they actually made them worse in Sonic Adventure 2. The only reason why I say I hear is because I never bothered to play that garbage in Sonic Adventure 1. Um, but they were even worse in Sonic Adventure 2 because the stages were too big. Oh, the KO babies? <laughs> you know, I, I... Oh, well, no, they're called Chow, aren't they? I always call them KO. That's what I... I thought that's what they're called. They're, apparently, they're called Chow. Um, they're kind of like Tamagotchis. I don't know if anyone remembers those things. That's why I never got into it because I was never into, like, the whole virtual pet thing. How do I kill this stupid thing? Like, I had, um... What's it called? Nintendogs? For the DS? And, like, that got, like, great reviews. But I could never get into it. Um, and, like, the Chow... The Chow Garden was basically kind of like that. How do you kill this fucker? What the... What am I doing wrong? Oh, you like Nintendogs X Infected? Die, die. What am I doing? This boss is garbage, and it looks so stupid too, doesn't it? Oh, you, you fucker, come on. How do I kill this thing? So, yeah, if they made like a Sonic Adventure with just. Okay, now I'm gonna die. Oh, I think I know what I gotta do. I think I gotta spin dash into the thing. Um, yeah, if they ever made like a Sonic Adventure with just Sonic gameplay, I would love it. Even if I could ignore all the other flaws, and there were other flaws too. Um, there were camera angle issues, uh, it was glitchy, the physics were really bad. But I can overlook all that. Um, if that's all, if, if the gameplay was just, you know, Sonic gameplay. 
Um, and actually, the closest thing to that is a game called Sonic Heroes. That I do like. I mean, it has, like, other gameplay, like brawling and, you know, Tails you, you gotta switch to. But at least it's all one kind of gameplay. And I like the level design in that game, too. Didn't like Sonic Adventure 2, even though it returned to its roots. Always preferred Mario games over Sonic. Um, I grew up with Sonic. Like, that's my childhood. Uh, so I like Sonic as a character more. But I agree that Mario games are better. Let's face it. Like, Mario Odyssey is gonna be amazing. And we all know that's gonna be better than Sonic Forces, right? No one, no one's really looking forward to Sonic Forces. I mean, I predict Sonic Forces will probably be kind of like Generations, except better. So it won't be total garbage, but you know, that's not the direction I want them to go in. Is Sonic Forces gonna come out for the Switch? Because you know, I'll probably get it. In fact, yeah, I, I will get it. The one thing I don't like... Yeah, this, this boss is garbage. I don't even know how to kill it. Is I, I don't like that stupid custom character thing they're doing. Like, it's not as offensive as the Werehog or that Sonic Boom nonsense where you have to play as every other character. Oh, it's going to be for the Switch. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, but it just seems so tacky, you know? Like, it's unnecessary. What do I do? Oh, I know, I know, I know. I just realized what I gotta do. I gotta use Tails. Stupid. Ah, okay. I just realized that that's what I need to do. What the fuck? Maybe we gotta fly into it or something. Fuck's sake, come on! What is he doing? Okay, yeah, there we go. That's what you gotta do. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Sonic Forces. You know, actually, they have some pretty good ideas for that stupid thing. Like, the grappling hook is kind of a good idea. Um, but I thought they should have implemented that on, like, Sonic's normal arsenal. Like, they shouldn't have made a separate character for that. That's kind of dumb and pointless. But, whatever. At least it's, like, it's not that similar from Sonic gameplay. That's how it's supposed to be. Like, if you're gonna have other characters, they have to play very similarly to the core gameplay. If it's too different, it's gon you're gonna get the stupid treasure hunting werehog stage kind of shit. And that's why it doesn't work. And no matter what, let's face it, it's not it's not gonna be as good as Sonic Mania. There's no fucking way. So let's hope we either get a Sonic Mania 2, or maybe we can get a Sonic 5, made by Christian Whitehead, that's his name. Christian Whitehead is a fan. It took a fan to save Sonic the Hedgehog. Fucking Sonic team can't even make a decent Sonic game to save their fucking life. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, you hate him as a character, really? Don't you like Sonic Attitude, man? That's Sonic 2? Oh no, we're gonna die. Yeah, like, I grew up reading the comics, and I also watched the cartoon. So... Yeah, I'm too slow. That's why I, I like... Sonic. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, fuck. I also like his design. He looks cool. He Sonic was the anti-Mario. Um, 
Um, I guess one one uh, game writer once said he, he's he's the he's the video game mascot that you don't take home <laughs> to your mother or whatever the fuck. It's like Mario is like a good boy and Sonic is like the bad boy. <laughs> Mario's so cute. Mario's a little chubby. But I like Mario, yeah. He, he has better games. When I was a kid, I, you would never hear me say that. I was a big Sonic fanboy. But, yeah. As an adult, I will admit. He, he has better games. But I like them both. Um, definitely 3D Mario. That is definitely better. Um, but 2D Sonic is, is always gonna have a special place in my heart. Who would have thought a fat Italian plumber would make for a gaming mascot? Yeah. Originally, Mario, um, he appeared in Donkey Kong. Uh, originally, they, they wanted to make a Popeye game. So in that game, it was supposed to be Popeye. But they couldn't secure the rights to, to it. <laughs> what a serendipitous uh, thing for that to happen. They got their best mascot from that. Mario was named after the landlord. His name was Mario Sagali or something. And uh, he was like the, the landlord for the place that Nintendo was leasing in America at the time. <laughs> like I always think to myself, like they had like this little warehouse or something, very nasty cockroach infested warehouse that Nintendo was kind of hanging out in back in those days. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully, yeah, this boss is annoying. Hopefully we'll get... Hopefully Sonic Forces won't suck. Hopefully it'll be good. Um, one of the kind of annoying things to me... Um, is... Uh, the, the graphics engine they're using for that game it's the same graphics engine they, they used since Sonic Unleashed. And that game came out in like 2007 or something. So it's like, what the fuck? Oh, come on. You gotta improve the technology at some point. It's pathetic that a game that's almost 10 years old, actually is 10 years old, actually looks better than, than a game that's coming out now. For fuck's sake. Timeless. This this boss, man. Oh great. Oh great. <laughs> this I was about to say that this music is terrible. It's just so repetitive. And that's the other thing that is totally inconsistent with Sonic games. Any Sonic fan will tell you. The one thing that they always did was they always used the best so uh, sound hardware. Whenever they made a Sonic game, ever since Sonic CD, they did that. They didn't hold anything back. They didn't try to make it sound worse than, than they could have made it. Okay, finally. That was really close. I thought I was going to die. Um, but, uh, even though the, the boss music's terrible, the, the music for some of the other stages isn't too bad. I actually do like the music for the first stage. It's okay. It could be better. But it's it's the fact that they intentionally tried to make it sound 16-bit but failed. That's really annoying. So this this uh, level, this zone, uh, combines ice ice cap zone with uh, like kind of carnival night, which is pretty cool. I, I like that. 
pretty cool theme. Um, yeah, it looks good. So, Ice Themes became really popular after uh, Sonic 3. So, if you ever played the Sonic Advance series, like, you're probably going to be really sick of Ice Themes. Because they were in every single Sonic Advance game, and that was three games. Suffice to say, it, it got a little repetitive. Uh, but it looks decent enough in this. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. You can actually go up that way, but it's too late now. This is another thing that some people didn't like. Uh, they didn't like how they added the homing attack. Because the homing attack was never in the original. Here's kind of a stupid enemy. Like, the, the whole you gotta, like, attack the enemy more than once thing, that... That's annoying. Um, yeah, they added the homing attack in this in the Sonic from Sonic 4, and it was never in any of the original uh, Genesis games, and a lot of people didn't like that. Uh, I don't mind it too much. Um, it does kind of make platforming kind of cool, uh, and it's, it is required in order to navigate through some of the areas. Uh, the reason why they added the uh, homing attack in the first place, though. Is, um, it was a crutch for bad controls in uh, in the three Sonic games. So that's why I don't like how they have the homing attack. Because you don't need a homing attack if the controls don't suck, if the physics don't suck. You know, when you played Sonic Adventure, you can, you don't need to use the homing attack, but you use it anyway because the, the physics are so sloppy. And the controls so janky, so you need it. But if the physics were spot on and the enemies, all you have to do really is just make the enemies larger. And uh, make it so that the physics work properly. And that's kind of what I was hoping for the next big 3D Sonic game. I was hoping they were going to do something like reinvent Sonic and improve it finally, but instead they decided to go with. Oh, okay, we're okay. But no, they just went back to the Generations formula, which is really disappointing. And it's it's redundant as fuck. Um, because they have classic Sonic in that game, right? What's the point at this point? Because we have... We have uh, Sonic Mania now. We don't need that classic Sonic in a 3D Sonic game. It's redundant, and it's an inferior experience kind of get what I'm saying there, it's, if we already have a real 2D Sonic game, why do we need a gimped 2D Sonic game? <laughs> That's my logic behind it. If, if you're going to make a 3D Sonic game, make it 3D. That's the whole point. Alright, so now, I like how Act 2 changes up the music a little bit and you get a zoomed in you actually go to the carnival that you saw in the background which was pretty cool. I mean no matter what this is good level design they're actually making use of the 3d graphics here um, which they did not do in the first game that's another one of my things if you're gonna use 3d graphics then actually put it to good use like you know have have cool effects like this where you get launched in the background and the foreground Donkey Kong Country did that and, um, that's good use of the 3D graphics. Because if you don't do that, then the graphics are just a veneer, right? And you might as well, uh, make the whole game in 2D, because 2D looks better. Usually. 2D graphics, that is.
Level design's good. So I was playing a fan game before. Uh, it had great graphics. It had 2D graphics. It's called Sonic Time Twisted. That's why I love DKC Returns. Yeah. Um, it, it has such good level design. And it uses the... Oh, I think I fucked up. No, we're good. It uses the 3D graphics to full effect. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't just use it as a veneer. It uses it to enhance the gameplay. That's the way you gotta do it. Otherwise you get bullshit like Mighty Number no. 9. Where it looks so tacky and shitty. I can't stand that. A lot of people complain about how you can't really go fast in this game. That's not actually true. Um, what you can do is you can do that homing attack and it'll do like a little little dash in the air and that'll increase its velocity. If you ever see a speedrun of this or even uh, episode one, they go fucking fast. Like, I think they go even faster than in the uh, original series. You just have to be good at the game. And then you can really take advantage of the controls. Reminds you of DKC2 and the carnival levels. Oh yeah, with the, uh, the, the, uh, the cart. Riding on the tracks and stuff like that, yeah. Those are really, really beautiful levels. I really like the um, the haunted the haunted woods levels in DKC2. Those are my favorite. And it's apropos because it's Halloween. Might be a good time to replay DKC2, Ali. <laughs> when was the last time you played it? It's so good. Wispy Woods, that's it. I was watching someone play uh, SNES Retro or SNES Classic, I think it's called. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shit. Ah! Okay. Oh, a year ago? Nice. There's some games that I like to beat every year. Oh wait, no, it's not working. So we just gotta go up. Yeah, there's some games I like to beat like every year. The DKC series is one of them. I wanna turn that into one of my games that I can beat every year. Turn it into like a yearly ritual. I was watching someone play the SNES Classic. Uh, he was playing uh, Yoshi's Story. These things are annoying as fuck. That's another really good game. You ever play Yoshi's Story, Ali? What's going on? It's bad. I'm not gonna make it. Let go, let go. Oh, almost made it. Oh, you play Yoshi's Story. Yoshi's Story's really good. I don't know if you ever played Yoshi's... Oh, wait, wait, I'm, I'm getting the name wrong. Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Story was for the N64. Um, a lot of people don't like that game. Uh, I like it. I like the graphics. It's a little childish, but um, I still like it. I fucked up there. There was another game, Yoshi's Island DS. Oh, you haven't played uh, Yoshi's Island? Really? That's another really good platforming game for the SNES. Uh, the graphics in that game are really good. Um, oh, are you? Isn't there's going to be a new Yoshi game for the Switch? Are you going to get that game, Owly? It's gonna be kind of similar to uh, Yoshi's Yoshi's Woolly World. I don't know if you heard about that one. That was for the the Wii U. Yeah, the yarn one. Yeah. It's it's actually a sequel to Yoshi's Woolly World. So yeah, that's gonna be cool.
Uh, I'll stream that game one day. I'll stream Yoshi's Woolly World one day. That That's really fun. And it's such a gorgeous game, too. And the best of all, it's two-player. So, you got a buddy, you can play together. Um, no online play, though, sadly. That's cheap. How is any any normal human being supposed to spot that? Did I say the level design in this game's good? Sometimes it can be jangly. Am I still gonna get the Switch in December? Um, I actually might get it sooner. Um, because you said that Mario Odyssey is coming out late this month, right? So maybe I should just get it now. That way we can play Splatoon. And maybe Mario Kart too. I wonder if I don't think the Switch supports composite cables, unfortunately. So, oh boy, oh boy, this is. No, oh, come on! What the fuck are you doing? Shit. Yeah, if if the Switch supported composite cables, I would be able to stream from it, but I don't think. But that's all right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna get the switch this month. The more, the more we talk about it, the more I want to get it. Actually, <laughs> oh come on, that's cheap. Will I stream Switch games? It it depends. If it doesn't support composite, then I would have to wait for them to like create some kind of firmware update so that it uh, actually can do it using software. Otherwise, I can't. It'd be cool though. Like Owly and I, we could play. Mario Kart. I could stream that. I could stream her kicking my ass in Mario Kart. I think she's gonna kick my ass, unfortunately, because she's been playing that game a lot. She's been, like, beating everyone. There's this, like, there's this geek that she knows. <laughs> and she, like, kicked his ass. And, like, he got so butthurt over it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, it's just a fucking game, you fucking geek. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't stop raging over it. He was humiliated by a girl. Where the fuck do we go? Damn it! I'm doing badly in this game, I don't know why. And yeah, no matter what, if you suck at a game, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go back and improve your skills, practice. There is literally no reason. See, I don't know what to do here. What do I do here? Go back and practice and become better. Don't be a butthurt little bitch. And that's what that guy was doing. And. It was totally unwarranted because Allie wasn't trash talking him. Like it's one thing if you trash talk someone, but she was totally humble. She didn't she didn't make fun of him or anything. In fact, she was kind of kind to him, and he was just being a little little bitch about it. So fuck him. All right, we're gonna go really fast through this. Hope we make it. Let's see. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know. I guess like you're screwed if you don't make it in there. Yeah, he was the one who was talking shit. That little bitch. And he's so fucking annoying. Like... 
<laughs> he won't shut the fuck up. And he's talking about inane crap that no one gives a fuck about. It's like, dude, no one cares. I'm drinking some apple cider. I like apple cider. Has that little tangy taste to it. Alright, here's the shitty boss. Oh, it's Metal Sonic? <laughs> yeah. Isn't apple cider so much better than apple juice? Apple juice I don't like. It's... I don't know, it's like too sweet. Like, I like apple cider because it's tangy. Actually, this boss is not too bad. Oh, you like both? I see. But you're not a fan of orange juice. Orange juice I like sometimes. It can be a little sour, though. The one thing you don't ever want to do, never drink orange juice right after brushing your teeth. Because, like, there's some chemical reaction that happens in your mouth and makes it taste like shit. Ah, Orange juice makes you sick. Do you like, uh, lemonade? Nilabani is a big fan of grape juice. <laughs> that's- that's her- her drink. Like lemonade, but it's be super sweet. Nice. Yeah, a little bit too sour, and it'll just taste bad. Um, I like limeade a lot. Kind of, you know, you know what else is really good? The uh, passion fruit juice. That's really good. One of the cool things about this game, too, by the way, is you can actually play as Metal Sonic um, in, some, in uh, Episode 1. You revisit some of those levels. Oh, oh, oh! Damn it. Wow. In all fairness, though, the reason why I'm playing worse is because I'm playing in standard definition and it's harder to see. That's my excuse. Just jump over it and get back onto this rail. He's gonna charge us again. I think. I was about to jump there because I didn't. Once he starts destroying the ground, that's gonna be insane. That's hard to avoid. Yeah, he's gonna do it now. Oh wait, no. This is so hard to avoid. How do I avoid this? How do you avoid that? Oh, come
Oh, no! For fuck's sake, every damn time! I knew he was gonna do it too. Did I say this is a good boss? Take it back. This, this boss is a piece of shit. <laughs> um, Eggman is what he was originally called in Japan, so I don't mind Eggman. That is actually his original name. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it is weird. I don't mind either one. Actually, like, um, like more things make sense if if you call him Eggman because like a lot of levels were actually named after him, like uh, Death Egg. And in the Game Gear games, there were a lot of zones called Scrambled Egg Zone. Oh shit. Uh, there was Crystal Egg Zone. Shit. So like all those all those egg references. There's also another one called Sleeping Egg Zone, like, all those egg references make more sense when he's called Eggman. Um, but his official name is, um, Eggman Robotnik, that's supposed to be his name. Ivo, Eggman Robotnik. Some some stupid fucking thing. Uh, that doesn't work. Oh, come on, motherfucker! It's so repetitive. And these bosses are garbage. You want me to do some lyrics? There's no time to react. Oh, 
Donkey Kong should have been called Monkey Kong. Oh yeah, I heard that. Yeah, Donkey Kong is supposed to be called Monkey Kong. That would have made a lot more sense, but um, I like the name Donkey Kong. Okay, no problem, Ali. Thank you so much for streaming with us. Good luck with your homework. I hope you feel better soon. You know, now that I think about it, did anyone watch Planet of the Apes, the new one? You know how they kept calling the apes donkeys? I wonder if that's the reason why. I wonder if it's a reference to Donkey Kong. Probably is. See you later, Ali. That's hard. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it an Easter egg. I think it. It was a. It's an insult. Calling the. Calling the oh. You know, they they would call the apes donkey in a disparaging way. Slaves. That was a good movie, by the way. I do recommend watching it. I mean, if you, see, you you gotta watch the other ones first, but yeah, it's really good. No. The original is the one with Charlton has in you. I had to do that just in case. Damn him! Oh, the, the fucking spring! It fucked me! up already. I fucked up already! God damn it.
probably we'll beat this boss and then we'll, we'll call it a night. Oh, thank you, Tatsu. It's always an honor and a pleasure to have you here, as always. Sometimes you can't fly because its tails dies. That's unavoidable shit. How do you avoid that? How do you avoid that, huh? How do you kill him now? I'm flying up here. Oh, come on. He's dead. Finally. Shit. <laughs> oh, here we go. Thank you, Tatsu. close up for tonight. One day we'll do a full stream of Sonic uh, 4 Episode 2, but uh, for tonight we will call it. Uh, tomorrow we will be playing... Uh, I'll find something. I'll find something good. How many levels? There's two. Like, there's like three more zones. Um, but it'll still take like a few more hours to beat it all. So I want to thank everyone for streaming with me. Thank you so much. It's an honor and a pleasure. We will be streaming a new game tomorrow, uh, and day after tomorrow we will be doing Golden Sun. So I hope to see you all then. Have a good night, everyone.